In today's video, we're checking out the Kalen Green Mamba Overdrive pedal. This is, of course, based on the legendary tones of a vintage overdrive pedal, Tube Screamer. <laughs> and it sounds great and it's extremely affordable. Before we get into it, a huge thank you to Kalen for sending this out for the video. I really appreciate it. If you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. You're going to hear this in the context of a backing track with a real amp and microphone setup. No IRs or anything like that. And then we'll test out some isolated tones. I'll timestamp everything down below. Let's get into it. One of the great things about the Green Mamba is its simplicity. We get a volume, drive control, and tone control. The further they are this way, the more of each you're going to get, and vice versa that way. To turn the pedal on and off, we use this button here, and the LED on the front will light up. Kalen have now introduced this little LED power socket here. So as soon as you supply power to the pedal, this will light up blue. It's a really cool addition and something very different. Build quality of this pedal is fantastic. We get a metal enclosure and all of the pots and switches feel fantastic. So big thumbs up there. All right, let's get into it. In true tradition of getting that vintage Tube Screamer kind of sound, I'm plugged into my Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue amplifier. I've got it mic'd up with an AEA ribbon microphone and a Sennheiser E906. We're gonna start on the neck pickup of my Strat. We'll go over to some humbuckers in just a moment. <laughs> Great starting tone, gain down, volume up at 12 o'clock and tone right at about 12. Great tone already. Now, a sign of a great pedal is if we turn down, does it clean up? So here we go. I would say that's a big yes. <laughs> And now with the gain on the pedal at 12 o'clock, but I'm gonna start with my volume control down. This is neck pickup. Take a listen to this, and then I'll turn up. And now with the gain on the pedal up at two o'clock. So everything else is the same, except I've switched over to my Telecaster, loaded with a set of the Danny Gatton pickups. Let's give this a go, both pickups. Over to neck. Over to 
over to Bridge. Yeah, what a combo. Over to some humbuckers now, thanks to the Harley Benton HB35 Plus, and I've just cranked up the tone and gain on the pedal. Take a listen to this on bridge pickup. This handles the gain beautifully. Here we go. Over to the neck pickup with the volume control down. A little bit more. And all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> And now with the gain on the pedal all the way up. Now the great news is there's no extra white noise coming out of the amp and the amp's loud in the room here. So hopefully it sounds great on the recording. Let us know what you think. This is bridge pickup with the gain cranked. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane, a massive thank you to Kaylin for sending this out. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down in the pinned comment below. One of the best things about this is just how low the noise floor is, even with the drive all the way up. Also, it's extremely dynamic, use your volume control and it cleans up just as well as far more expensive pedals. The build quality is great, the pots all feel beautiful under the fingers. I've said this for years, I think Kaylin are making some of the best inexpensive gear out there. And this is by far the best tube screamer in a box I've played all year at this price point. I would have no hesitations using this for a gig based on the tones I was hearing in the room. It sounded wild. Let us know what you think. And again, if you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. Do us a favor. If you like what I do on the channel, please leave a thumbs up, share the video, all that kind of stuff. And I will catch you soon. Thank you. See ya.